a sailor tells his two children, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, during a sea cruise, Princess Jasmine is in distress while wandering the desert realm of Agrabah until the street criminal Aladdin saves her. She complains that her father, the Sultan, won't allow her leave the palace and that she is compelled by law to wed the prince rather than having the freedom to do so. The two of them are unaware that Aladdin's pet monkey Abu has taken Jasmine's jewelry, Jaffer, the vizier of the monarch. Wants to capture the magic lamp from the Cave of Wonders so that he can become Sultan since he detests being only second in the country and believes the Sultan is a bad and slothful leader. The cave, however, may only be entered via the uncut diamond. Jaffer also makes unsuccessful attempts to persuade the Sultan to invade a neighboring kingdom using his magic staff. Later that evening, Aladdin and Abu try to restore Jasmine's bracelet by breaking into the palace, but they are caught by Yago. Jaffer's pet parrot, who recognizes Aladdin as a uncut diamond. On Jaffer's orders, the palace guards are led by Hakim to seize Aladdin. Jaffer irritates him by revealing that he too was once a street rat. He takes Aladdin to the Cave of Wonders, saying that if he brings the lamp, he can make him rich enough to enchant Jasmine. However, he cautions Aladdin to only touch the light. Aladdin locates a magic carpet and recovers the lamp in the cave. Aladdin, Abu, and the carpet, however, manage to escape when Abu seizes the ruby and the cave starts to collapse. After Jaffer accepts the lamp as his own, he tosses both Aladdin and Abu back into the cave, but Abu is able to take the lamp with him, infuriating Jaffer. Aladdin, who is imprisoned, wipes the lamp and calls the genie who is inside. Aladdin's three wishes can be fulfilled, according to the genie. Aladdin connives with the genie to free them from the cave without having to use the wish. He pledges to spend his third wish to liberate Jean from slavery after using his first desire, which was to become a prince, to meet Jasmine. Aladdin arrives in Agrabah with great pomp and circumstance as Prince Ali of Ababa, but he is unable to win Jasmine over. Aladdin takes Jasmine for a stroll on the carpet after failing in his attempt to win her heart at the feast. In the meantime, Jin encounters and falls in love with Jasmine's maid, Dahlia. Aladdin persuades Jasmine when they eventually meet that he disguised himself as a peasant to escape the monotony of the royal life. The following morning, Hakim seizes Ali once more when Jaffer and Yago, with Yago's assistance, both identify Ali as Aladdin. Aladdin is pressured by Jaffer to reveal the location of the lamp's hiding place. When Aladdin objects, Jaffer casts him out the tall tower window and into the water. Aladdin strokes the lamp when Abu and the carpet bring it over before he falls asleep. Aladdin is saved by Jin with the aid of his second wish, Prince Ali, who was enraged by Jasmine's rejection of his proposal of marriage, has returned to Abava, where Jaffer informs the Sultan he is raising an army to conquer Agrabah. Jaffer is forced to use his magic staff by Aladdin, who suddenly arrives and alerts the Sultan of Jaffer's intention to steal power. With the help of the vizier, Jaffer is able to keep the Sultan under control. Jaffer is detained by the Sultan when Aladdin seizes and destroys the staff, exposing Jaffer's sinister scheme. Aladdin accepts the Sultan's invitation to take the throne because the Sultan still thinks he is Prince Ali because of fear that he will otherwise lose Jasmine. To Jin's dismay, Aladdin then reluctantly betrays his promise to him and refuses to free him, claiming that he might require his third wish when the lie is exposed. Jaffer is set free as Iago steals the dungeon's keys and sets him free. Jaffer then kidnaps Aladdin's lamp and takes over as Jin's new boss. Jaffer uses his first wish to become the Sultan, but when Jasmine convinces Hakim not to follow him, Jaffer uses his second desire to become the most powerful sorcerer in the world. He then uses his abilities to imprison Hakim and the guards and send Aladdin and Abu to the frozen wastes. Then Jaffer starts torturing Dahlia and the Sultan to coerce Jasmine into agreeing to marry him. Jean sends Carpet to look for Aladdin covertly. Jasmine snatches the lamp from Jaffer and jumps off the balcony onto the carpet as Aladdin and Abu arrive at the palace on a carpet during the wedding ceremony. Jaffer uses his wizardry to transform Iago into a much larger parrot as he chases after them. Iago takes the lamp, 
but Abu stops it once more when the Sultan attacks Jaffer and stops his sorcery. After quickly recovering, Jaffer uses his wizardry to overwhelm the heroes while also damaging the carpet before regaining his calm. Jaffer uses his final wish to transform into the all-powerful genie in response to Aladdin's mocking remark that he is second in power to the genie. When Jaffer is about to exploit his new abilities to overthrow a neighboring kingdom, the new lamp captures him and makes him its slave. Weakened, he grabs Iago and pulls him inside the lamp while threatening to exact revenge on Aladdin, Jin repairs the carpet by bringing Jaffer's lamp to the Cave of Wonders. The world returns to normal. In order for the law to permit him to remain with Jasmine, he counsels Aladdin to use his third wish to reclaim the prince's title, or to modify the law so that the princess can wed a commoner. Aladdin opts to fulfill his pledge and release Jean. Seeing Aladdin and Jasmine's love, the Sultan proclaims that Jasmine will be the next ruler, not her future spouse, and advises her to modify the law to allow her to wed anyone she wishes. At the conclusion of the film, it is revealed that the sailor is actually a genie who has traveled the world with Dahlia, with whom he is happily married and has two children, whereas Aladdin and Jasmine have already wed and are enjoying a happy marriage after many adventures.